Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in today. <clears throat> How are you keeping? Okay, I hope. Now, again, throat's still a bit iffy. I'm only mentioning it because if you think the video's a bit quiet, I can't speak very loud. So I have got it up to the top volume, so I'm hoping we'll be okay. Right, now, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's little video where we introduced our lovely new little fairy. She's so cute and she's going to be so useful. Today, I want to introduce you to one more new stamp and this is the gorgeous Sacred Bridge. Now, I've got to be honest, there are so many uses for this. I mean, a bridge, you can put florals either side, you can look at the detail, you can pop figures, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, on top of the bridge. You can build up a whole scene around the bridge. And we may have a few other little bridges, and I'm sure you've seen all the fabulous samples from the DT. Honestly, I'm so proud of them. We have worked so hard. And... When I saw it, the first thing I thought of, being a pet owner, having dogs, um, was Rainbow Bridge. And um, so that's the theme I went. Now, if you're not a pet owner, if this isn't something that appeals to you, it doesn't have to be a Rainbow Bridge. You could have this as just a normal bridge. But for me, you know, when you have um, a dog and if you are a pet owner, it's a bit like, you know, if you've got a cat, you tend to know other friends with cats. I know when I walk Eric, I meet lots of other dog owners. I know the dog's name, but I've got to be honest, I don't know the lady and gentleman name that own them. I just know them as, say, Butch's mum. Or <laughs> it's so funny. A bit like when you have children at school and you know the children and you know the parents by sight but you've no idea what they're called anyway so that's what I'm going to create today and for me it was just for that little gap that I think we've got um was to make a condolence card for a friend who's lost a pet and it's my little hint of a rainbow bridge and what I'm going to do is start off and this is some multi fairies card and this is seven by seven and I'm going to put my black sharpie line all the way around again use any permanent marker and I've just saved one side to do and for me I press and I do this at the beginning because as I've said before if I do it at the end see when I do it at the beginning the pen glides beautifully if I do it at the end and my design was finished for some reason my pen ends up slipping on my work I don't know why and I'm sure it's not just me now as you know I save that piece of copy paper because I like to use the same one now don't know why I turned that round and I know you're shouting at me it's square I know now this is the, the it's a sizable stamp and I know you like to know sizes so from almost tip to tip look if I measure it, we're talking five and a half inches. And then top to base, it's about three inches. Now we have got a smaller one, just giving you the heads up. So don't panic if you think this is too large. But for me, for colouring in the rainbow, it's perfect. Got to be honest, again, you know, my head, I was thinking, if you like doing your storybooks or your journals, I think this is going to be so useful. Again, imagine a little path underneath. Is the water underneath? It's funny, isn't it? The reason I say path straight away, I suppose, is I walk Eric so much and a lot of the places we go are almost um, either disused railway lines or and, and there are areas where you can walk under bridges. But again, it's your choice. That's what I love about stamps. You can create, your mind can just flow. So I'm thinking we're going to pop it about there. Now, there's a lot of detail on this stamp. So I'm just going to let that ink soak into the card. I mean, when you look, the little stones at the bottom. Now, again, in the last release, we have that gorgeous little stamp that comes in the set with the, the three little stones. You could build up more stones around it. Like I say, honestly, when you start using these stamps, your mind, mind just literally never stops. Right, so if I lift that up, look at that. The detail there, seriously, is just amazing. Now, I'm just going to give that a bit of a blot. 
and then we can add some colour. Now, I must admit, what I did was I looked online. Um, I'm going to just use my watercolour pencils, look. I looked online um, for the colours that are in a rainbow. I could sing a little song, but as you know, A, I can't sing, but B, my throat won't let me at the minute. But to be fair, it makes no odds because I can't sing anyway. So I looked up and just so I could get them in the right order... And the way I found it easiest to do was when I start with red is to actually colour. And I decided I was going, because it's Rainbow Bridge, I was going to colour all of the bridge. So, as in the little stones as well. But again, it's choices. If you want to actually have the stones brown, grey, that's fine. And again, we've got some lovely ornate work at the top. I'm taking the colour right to the edge of the stamp, but when you see the detail, you will be able to decide exactly how much detail you want to colour. And that's what I love about stamps, is it gives us choices. And again, that's what I love about doing these videos, because we can come in and just give you inspiration and ideas and set those. I always say crafty juices, but I think that's what we do. Set those juices flowing and then you can take it to whatever level you want. So I'm just going to leave the red there for now. And I'm going to put my pencil there. And I know this end, it's, it's violet. So I'm just going to go for my lightest... And I'm just going to come in and I just, for me, find it easier to do either side first. A little bit like when I'm teaching blending. Obviously, we do the top and the bottom. So, again, I'm going to colour the stones and almost this leg here. And as I say, these are my watercolour pencils. And then the middle colour is green. So I just thought it was easier then to pop the green in the middle. And then I could infill or fill in <laughs> either side. Does that make sense? But again, if you have a certain way of colouring, you know... I mean, it might be use your pens to do this. You might want to watercolour paint. So I'm adding some green. And then at the top here, I know I want orange and yellow. So I'm going to pick myself an orange and a yellow. And this way, I can put the orange, but then just blend it into the red look. Again, like I say, for me, it's very much the way when I'm blending my inks. So we've got a little bit of orange, look, we can see it's there. And then the yellow is going to go in between and blend in to that green and that orange. And obviously you get less of it at the top here because it's narrower, but you get more of the colour at the base here. So that's lovely, that's the yellow. And then in this gap here, we need blue and indigo. So I'm going to get myself the blue and that purple. And I'll start with the blue. So the blue's in this space here. And just blend that into the green. And again, be mindful, there's less of it here where it's narrower. And then more of the colour here. You can really see that blue. And then bring in the purpley tone here. Make sure we can see it at the base. And then just a little bit here and blend it just into that violet. And again at this side I think I can just increase the blue a little. So you can go back over and just, if there's any colour you want to emphasise a little bit more. But again, I've got to be honest, I think it's definite that that is a rainbow. But I'm just going to come back in. just want to emphasise that red a little bit more at the top. 
so I'm happy with that. So if you bear with me, I'm just putting my colours back and you know I'm sad, I have to have the colours in the right order. So we'll pop those back in the tin and you've got that lovely colour in. Now, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of stencil work in the background. And I thought our lovely replenished stencil, because it's got the hearts on look, would just be perfect. And I'm going to come in with Della Blue. Now, you could go down the purple route. I, to be honest, I couldn't decide. I thought blue or purple, but I love the tones in this. So I've gone for the blue, but I think it would work well with purple as well. And what I want to do is just look and spend a little bit of time just getting... I don't want to get any edges. And I don't want the hearts down here. I just want them flowing up above the bridge. So... And I like that heart there. So if I can just get that there. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to start here. And again, in the ink, in the lid. And I don't need to mask the bridge because I can see it. And I just gently want those hearts very lightly to just flow up here. Yes, I like In fact, that's enough. I'm going to leave that. I like that. I don't know if you can make that out for me. That's just enough. But what I do want to add, we've got a gorgeous little one of our mini stamps. And this is the group of hearts. Look, very useful little stamp, this. I'm going to use black. And I'm just going to pop this here because this is my little heart flowing over Rainbow Bridge up to the final resting place. There we go. And then just going to add a little bit of colour on here to the um, posts. And yes, I couldn't think of the word there. Completely forgot what they were called. And I just think if I come in with the brown and just add, I just want to add, we've got the posts and almost some lovely fencing wire here. Now, again, you could leave them. You could add gel pen here. But I don't want to over add this. It's a, it's a sympathy card, so I don't want to over gel it. Now, I also want to just add some of my lovely pastel pencils just to ground it so I'm going to come in with the black but also I've got a dark blue just to keep almost that bluey tone so what I'm thinking is just coming under the bridge here but I almost want it to meet in the middle but then I want more either side and I'm just going to come in and add a little bit of blue to it. I just think the blue will just add that lovely sort of bluey tone. And then this is just a biodegradable cotton board. I just find it very useful for blending. Quite often I use my finger, as you know, but I'm really trying to keep my fingers as clean as possible because I want the white space on this card to stay white. I'm just going to wipe that with my Inky Binky. Now, I just want to add a little bit more blue, sort of coming in a little bit. Just to add a bit of shape, because I'm going, that's where I'm going to pop my sentiment, and I just think it would bring the eye. And I think with this sort of blending, it's up to your imagination then what is underneath. And that's nice, that's uneven now, I prefer that. And then... With my pastel pencil, oh, which I've just dropped on the floor, which isn't ideal, I just want to add just a couple, not overdo it, but just a couple of little white highlights on there. Now, to blend the bridge, I'm going to use my Wink of Stella because for me, I feel it will give me just the right amount of sparkle because I think the bridge is sparkling. But if you don't want to add sparkle, I totally understand that and I would just go with water. 
but you would know the person obviously who you were sending this to and I just think it looks a bit sort of ethereal with having this little bit of sparkle and it just blends the colours together beautifully and obviously like I say you will spend longer on this now because I've gone in the red look I just want to clean my brush and then I can go back to the green so I tend to work from the middle colour from the green up to the red and then from the green through the blue look and then to the purpley tones and that will just blend those colours beautifully and as I say it's not a lot of sparkle in your face but it's enough for me just makes it look that beautiful magical bridge and again I'll just clean my brush so normally I would add some ink splatters but I'm not going to for this I feel it's just says exactly what I want it to as it is so on the heartfelt verses we've got the with love and sympathy sentiment so I'm going to use that and again I'm going to stick with my black now this will go on an 8 by 8 card but you could always do a smaller version with the smaller bridge if you want to make a smaller card and I'm just going to pop that in the middle there there we go beautiful and that stands so well and I have to say I just think they're not nice cards to make but for me, that bridge definitely just makes, I think, a if there is such a thing as a beautiful, a beautiful rainbow bridge. Now, you could always handwrite the pet's name if you wanted. But also, if you make cards for charity, this might be something you could, you could use. And again, remember your beautiful Lavinia stamp, stamp to put on the back. This one I've just popped on an 8x8 and I've put the little black line around again. So I hope you enjoyed that. As I say, for me, this bridge has got so many possibilities and I cannot wait. Remember, Friday's the release date. I cannot wait to see what you do with them. You're such a clever lot. You inspire us as much as us inspire, inspiring you. So thank you very much for joining me. Remember the online extravaganza, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, later this week. If you're watching this after the date it's been released, you might have missed the extravaganza, but you can see the videos online. We put them all online so you can catch up anytime. Lovely to have you joining us live, but you just catch up whenever you get time. We're always here, day and night. You take care. Thanks for popping in. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.